At home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about a pair of earbuds that have amazing sound quality with hi-fi stereo, perfect battery life with eight to 10 hours, and a badass case that goes along with it. So we're gonna talk about the Qzeal, that's K-U-I-Z-I-L. Very strange company name, but that is actually the name of it. We're gonna talk about their Q76 earbuds. So in this video, we're gonna do a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said earbuds. After that, I'm gonna be putting these bad boys to the at-home release test to figure out, are they something that you should buy or maybe skip altogether? I'm here for you, so don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So the top left corner, you have the name of the company right there. You have a outline of what's to come in the box. This is the Q76 True Wireless Earbuds 5.3 Hi-Fi Sports Running. Sports Running, that's hilarious right there. All right, let's get inside this box, people. Oh wow, that's actually really nicely packaged together. All right, in the box of accessories, you have USB-C. That is so cool. A user guide. And at the bottom, it looks like you have your small and large ear tips. Those are actually really nice looking. All right, let's take a look at the creme de la creme, people. Ooh, this is a massive looking case right here. Wow, that is, I think this might be the largest one I've ever reviewed. Uh, on this side right here, you have the USB-C port. Um, it's not bad looking though. It's it's kind of nice. It's very lightweight actually for something so large. That is really interesting. Let's go ahead and flip this lid. Whoa, so much is going on. You have the battery percentage over there, left and right battery percentage over there. I'm guessing that's the earbuds. This is the case. Really nice, very uh, space age and alien looking is what I'm getting when I look at this right here. Wow, those are massive. All right, let's go ahead and take these out and take a closer look at them real quick. All right, let's go ahead and walk around these bad boys right quick. So here is your ear tip right here. Yeah, this this uh, silicone right here is definitely nice. You can tell it has a nice core right there. It's gonna keep it really, really nicely put together. Definitely gonna be comfortable in the ear for sure. Take a look at the driver right inside of there. Eh, that's looking a little bit small, but not super, not super bad. Let's go ahead and push this back on here. All right, there's your charging pads right there. Let's continue around this bad boy. It looked like this was a display right here. Yeah, there's some kind of display going on. Let me see what's going on there. This whole thing looks like it lights up right inside of there. Very, very interesting. Looks like you have two microphone ports right there, possibly, or that's just for a show. You got this very large, very strange thing that's gonna wrap around your ear and lock it into place. Looks like there might be another microphone right there. All right, let's continue around. Make sure we didn't miss anything. That looks like a base port right here. Okay, first impressions of the earbuds. They look massive, but they also look like they're gonna lock into your ear and not move at all. Um, very, very interesting. Let's go ahead and see how well they go back into the case. I'm just gonna drop this in willy-nilly. Okay, so it doesn't just drop in. Yeah, I guess it, nope, there it goes, okay. So they're, they're not gonna drop in as easy as other ones. That actually dropped in pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and check the magnet on the front. Oh, that's actually decent, yeah, that's not terrible. Um, it definitely has the flip, people, it's got the flip. That is so satisfying. <laughs> All right, ooh, you can see it through there. That's why that's clear. So that's actually made out of clear plastic right there. Everything up here is plastic. The lid is very, very lightweight. This whole thing is super lightweight for how big it is. So it's massive, but yet it's very, very lightweight. All right, coming up, we're gonna get these things in the ear and get a reviewing. Okay, let's just do a quick size comparison. This is my go-to jobber earbuds right here. Really, really small, always in my pocket. And this is the massive case right here. You can see it is very, very large, very massive. Okay, just got these bad boys paired up to my Samsung 75 inch TV, which is right back there. 
The pairing process was super, super simple. I'm actually in the middle of watching Breaking Bad. I'm on season two right now. I should say re-watching it because I watched it when it aired on TV back in the day. Comment down below if you're also watching it again on Netflix. Um, but anyways, got them paired up super easily. I'm gonna put the larger tips in. I have the medium tips in right now and I just cannot get it to seal on my ear. Either that or I have to keep adjusting them down. Um, but yeah, that's how they look. Strapped onto the ear right there. First impressions, uh, decent, definitely decent. Uh, they're, they, they're, they're not uncomfortable so far. So let's get into this theater mode, people. Okay, definitely did not pass the theater mode. These things are kind of bad so far. They do not lock into the ear at all. I cannot get them to sit in the ear. They're actually sticking out of this ear right now. I'm gonna have to do some more fiddling around. So that is the con so far, that's the negative. The pros were I was able to walk around my house, um, you know, 50, eh, maybe like 20, 30 feet um, and not have them glitch out. So that was good. The lip sync was perfect. Everything was in sync. The latency was great. Um, so the tech inside is definitely doing its job. The sound quality, was decent whenever I would get them to actually sit in the ear fully. Okay, let's take a quick minute to talk about these ear tips right quick. So these are actually really nice. You can see they have a very solid core inside of them. They're very, very comfortable once you get them locked into your ear. And they really do give you a large diameter right here. And the small is not the smallest I would like. My wife has really small ears. Those small are they're just, they're not the smallest, but uh, definitely nice and definitely good quality for these earbuds. So that's really cool. Okay, all the audio you're hearing is actually coming from these earbuds themselves. I went into pro mode on my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I switched it over to Bluetooth audio. So all the audio is coming from these earbuds. I'm in my kitchen right now, which has a decent amount of space. It doesn't have yeah. any rugs on the floor, hardly at all. So the echoing is definitely big in this room. So most microphones will have a little bit of echo. It'll sound very roomy in here. So this is gonna be a good test for these microphones. So if you make a phone call with the microphone or with the earbuds, it's gonna sound a little bit like this. Of course, when you make a phone call, you're going through the cell towers and depending on what carrier you have will determine the quality of the call. But this will give you a good understanding if you're doing any sort of Zoom call or online uh, streaming where you're streaming uh, video and audio and you're using these as the microphone. This will give you a good understanding. Yeah. Also, my boy is messing around with some Top Ramen right now. So if you can hear that, then that means it's not really canceling out the noise around the microphone. Okay, just got these bad boys paired up to my iPod mini right here. We're gonna be doing some simple music listening. So this iPod has high res audio files on it. It's gonna give us a good understanding of the sound quality of these bad boys right here. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, just finished listening to some music on the iPod. Let's talk about the sound quality. The sound quality was absolutely amazing. Now you're not gonna get premium high-end sound quality, but you're gonna get the bass, you're gonna get the highs, the mids, the lows. Everything sounded really good, and the best way to describe it is it sounded big. It sounded like I had so much room. The drivers really were packing a serious punch. The volume was unreal. I had to turn the iPod down all the way. This has the these earbuds control their own volume, so I was able to turn this volume all the way up, turn the iPod volume all the way down. As you can see there, I had to turn it almost all the way off because it was so, so loud. And that is a really good uh, testament of the drivers inside of here and the, the tech inside of here. So big thumbs up, definitely good listening experience. You're gonna be able to put these in you're gonna be able to escape the world around you and really enjoy what you're listening to. So definitely passed the iPod test. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about comfort with these earbuds. So these are actually super comfortable once you get them in. What I found that you really should do is grab it like this and then take it and just put this part in first. 
and then wrap it around your ear second. So you're gonna wanna put this in first, like normal earbuds, and then just wrap that around second. Once you put them on the ear, super, super comfortable. I have zero pain on the back of my ear. I have zero pain anywhere around this portion of my ear. They really lock into place um, and really sit there very comfortably. But when I smile or talk, they start to pop out of the ear. And that is really, really annoying. And I don't know if it's because of the size of my ear that's causing that to happen. If you have smaller ears than I do, you may be okay, but that's the biggest downfall. There's no discomfort with them. They just don't lock in. And I have to keep doing this thing where I turn it and push it back in. And I'm, I'm hoping it's, they're gonna break in. So they may break in for me and start to lock into place. Um, but I'm really finding that it's quite annoying to have them just constantly, uh, basically what they're doing is this, they're turning like that and popping out of the ear. And then it's completely out and not locked into place. So I think maybe the design is just off a little bit. Um, and maybe the way that this earbud fits into the ear maybe turned a little bit so maybe the design is just slightly off for larger ears now like i said if you have smaller ears you may be fine you may put these in and be like boom they work solid next level but for me personally they're not locking in and i'm i'm not having that real immersive ability i have to keep holding them almost while i'm listening to music so there you go comfortable but not locking in big ears Hey, just a little reminder, the link for this product is down below. If you click that link and go to Amazon and purchase it today, you'll actually be giving At Home with Lucas a little bit of a kickback, which will give me a little bit of money to help me make better videos, and you're gonna help this channel grow because I am here for the long haul. So click the link down below, buy this product today, and let's all win. Okay, I'm fully suited up to do a 645 by Beachbody. I got these things paired up to my projector, which is right up there on the ceiling. Uh, the pairing process was super, super simple. Couldn't have asked for an easier pairing process. We're gonna be doing a 645 total body uh, tempo today. So we're gonna be doing a lot of different movements. We're gonna be all over the place. Um, hopefully these things lock in and I can hear the coach and I can hear the music and everything and get a good workout in okay had a good workout um, these things definitely moved a little bit all over the place I had to keep adjusting them uh, they never were super super terrible so if you're doing a workout and you hear a little bit of what's going on around you that's not the end of the world so I wasn't like super annoyed the entire time but I definitely had moments where they almost fell out when I was leaning straight down um, I felt like they were gonna just literally fall right off of my ear um sound quality they stayed in sync the sound quality of course is good um i'm gonna give them one thumb up out of two thumbs for uh workout test so um five stars out of ten stars if you will they're not gonna be the ones i would tell everyone to go get for doing at home gym workouts like i'm doing um but yeah definitely did a good job they passed just not two thumbs up only one Okay, I've been using these bad boys for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and let's just start off with the case itself. This case is massive. It's so big, but it's feather feather light, which is awesome. The charging of it was super, super easy. I actually loved it. I love the fact that you can see what's going on on the inside. When you flip it open, you notice right away that this is actually a smart lid. So you're probably wondering, what does that mean? Well, it means when you flip this thing open, the earbuds start to connect before you pull them out and put them in your ear. The major thing about that is sometimes these earbuds, the onboard volume for the, the spoken word is so, so loud that when you pull them out and put them in your ear, it just screams at you that it's pairing or it's connected, whatever. With a smart lid, when you flip it open, it starts to pair it. So by the time you get your earbud out and put it in your ear, it's already connected to your device and you're ready to go, which is huge. I absolutely love that. So smart lid, very, very awesome. The fact that you can look right through it and see where your case's battery percentage is and where your earbuds are in terms of charging, awesome. I've actually 
become fully addicted to the ability to see a readout of my battery life. I'm so tired of just seeing little dots and having to guess what the dots are, or the other way is you see color. So it's like, oh, it's green, fully charged, yellow, halfway, red, it's about to die. So that is something that I'm really, really liking that ability right there. So the case is definitely massive. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get used to it. Uh, it definitely does not grow on you over time, but it's, it's, it's lightweight and you can open it really easily. The magnet on here is super strong. You would probably end up dropping it and breaking it before the magnet released and let it out and you lost your earbuds. So that's actually really nice. It's definitely on the flimsy side though. So if you're someone that beats the heck out of your stuff, just know going into it, this is made out of thin plastic and it's probably not gonna take too many hits before you get an actual crack in it. Um, but enough of the case, once you pull out the earbuds themselves, they're actually decent, they're not terrible. The sound quality inside of here, the drivers, absolutely amazing. The battery life is truly phenomenal, five stars for sure. The comfort, they're very comfortable. They, they sit in the ear, they don't annoy you at all. And I have very sensitive ears, so I'd be the first one to tell you that they don't work. Um, for me personally, they did not lock in my ear enough for me to say that they're gonna be a solid sport earbud. Um, I don't know if this design right here is just needing a little bit of an update for big ears. So if you have big ears like I do or bigger, you're gonna wanna probably skip these and go with something else. But if you have smaller ears than I do, you're gonna love them. They're gonna lock in, they're gonna do their job. And if you compare these to other earbuds that wrap around, these definitely do the job. They get everything going. And uh, yeah, so let's give them a star rating. I'm gonna give them a solid 4.3 star rating. I'm gonna say that um, everything about them works. It really does. Uh, the only downfall was I could not get them to lock into my ears personally. But like I said, you may buy them and they may lock in great and you may be very happy with them. So for the price and for the quality, definitely a solid buy, recommended. All right, there you go. That's the Q76 earbuds. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it and click that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 6K. Yes, people, on my way to 7K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.